All right, so let's have a look at some integers, okay? Which also has a bit of big math in there as well. And let's say I've got several questions that I want you to answer. Question one, negative three minus four. Question two, negative three minus minus four. Question four, negative three plus minus four. Oops, that's supposed to be question three. Negative three plus minus four. Negative three minus plus four. And question five, negative three plus plus four. Question six, negative three multiplied by negative four. Negative three multiplied by positive four. Positive three multiplied by negative four. Positive three multiplied by positive four. In question 10, Negative four multiplied by negative three. Try that, see if you can do that. The bid mass part will come in the next slide, but for now, this is just integers. Okay, let's go through these now. All right, look carefully over here. The first one says negative three minus four. There is no multiplication in this question, right? No multiplication in this question. We're on a number line, we at negative three and we are going back four. We're gonna end up at negative seven. Because when you minus a number from a negative number, it becomes a bigger negative number, which is negative seven. Now multiplication does become available in the next question because of the brackets. There's an invisible multiplication over there, which means that we have to now bring the two negatives into a single positive, like that. That will become negative three plus four, which will equal one. Negative three minus four is gonna be equal to negative seven. And why did I, how did I just go there? Again, multiplication hidden in between these. So plus and the minus will become a minus, okay? So you end up with minus three, minus four. And that's negative seven. The next one, exactly the same thing. Even though the minus is in front of the bracket and plus is on the inside of the bracket, that will still become minus. It will still be minus. And minus three minus four will become minus seven from this. The next one, two pluses remain plus. Plus times a plus is a plus. Minus three plus four, number line. Minus three to zero is three. One more gets you to four. So minus three plus four gets you to one. The zero is over there. So minus three plus four gets you one. Over here, we multiply and all the way through. Two minuses become a plus. plus. Plus and a minus is a minus. Minus takes over. Three times four is 12. Plus and a minus, doesn't matter which way, so it's gonna be negative 12 in this one. Plus three times plus four gets you plus 12. Minus three, minus four times minus three becomes plus 12 again as well. For that. All right, let's try the next one, a little bit of bid mass now. We've got three values, different arrangements, including multiplication. Try that. All right, so the next one here we got is bid mass, right? So we're looking at bid mass. And Remember, PEDMAS stands for multiplication first, and then addition, and then subtraction after that. So 
We also generally do division and multiplication together, addition and subtraction together, brackets and indices together. Indices is the same as exponent or power. All right, so that's power, basically. You can also call it bedness, B E D, as well, like that, right? So having a look at um, bed mass over here, we can see multiplication will take the lead here. So I have to work that out first. Negative 12 minus 3 gets me negative 15. In the next one, the negative 3 minus 4, we do not worry about. Multiplication has to take place first. So negative 3 will just stay there and wait for its turn. Negative 4 times negative 3 will become positive 12. And negative 3 plus 12 will get you 9. The next one, brackets first, which is B, the big B from big math. And three will have to wait because that's multiplication, but we can wait it out until the brackets can be sorted in this case. So we will do that. So three times negative four plus three, remember this is integers, it's gonna be negative one. I can keep it in a bracket or I can write it outside the bracket. Outside the bracket can get a little bit confusing, multiplication and minus next to each other. It's always nice to be just employ a bit of brackets whenever you're calculating because it's cheap as well and you don't get confused. So three times negative one, and we see in quite clearly here to become negative three. There's a hidden multiplication over here again, right? There's a hidden multiplication over here. So that's going to become negative three times plus four times negative three. So what do I do first here? I let the negative three wait. And I have to do this part first. Okay, so negative three will wait there. And four times negative three is actually negative 12. The plus and the minus becomes a minus. And there's no multiplication left, right? It goes into negative completely. The multiplication is now done. It is negative 12. Negative three minus 12 is now negative 15. And that's my final solution for that. Multiplication again here becomes negative 12 plus 3. That'll become negative 9. Okay. Let's do the last round of goodness. See if we can try these over here. Goodness and interviews. So for the first question over here, what we got is the following. Okay. We got minus 15, right? Multiplied by 4. So big mass will apply over here first. That will give me negative 60 plus 1. Keep the 1 aside. That gets you negative 59. I can see division. Let's do that first. So we'll have 16 minus 5 plus 8. 16 minus 5 is 11. 11 plus 8 will get you 19. Then I've got 18 minus 24, which gets me negative 6. And that's the brackets. All right. And I'm going to end up with 2 multiplying by ne negative 6. So these two will become negative 6. Let's see if I can flip this into this picture. I got 2 minus 2 times negative 6, keeping it in a bracket, plus 11. Do the bracket first, because that's multiplication. Leave the 2, leave the 11, sort this out. Plus 12 is what we're looking for. Negative 2 times negative 6 is negative 8 plus 12. 2 plus 12 is 14, and 14 plus 11 will get you to 25. Okay. We're done there. The next part. I've got 2 to the power of 3 is 8, and 4 divided by 2 is 2. 8 minus 2 equals 6. All right, so the 2 has to become 8. This is where we're doing the indices part or exponents part. Okay. And then at the same time, we do division first, which gets me 2, and then we do subtraction last is going to be 8 minus 2, which gets me 6 for this one. 
All right, and that's a good look at those questions over there. Moving on to the next thing, part of revision for today. Let's see if we got um, negative positive numbers, percentages. Yeah, now that's it. 